Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton? What about Savannah McCaskill for president? The junior forward led the still undefeated Lady Gamecocks into Stone Stadium against top-ranked LSU. We'll have coverage of that game and more on this episode of Capital City Sports. Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Capital City Sports. I'm your host, Jared Glassman. The Lady Gamecock soccer team has been on a tear lately as they face a tough matchup against LSU Thursday night. Here's Alyssa Butterson with more. Your Gamecocks return home tonight after a 1-0 upset against Auburn last week. They take on LSU tonight in hopes to keep the victory streak going. Let's take a look at tonight's highlights. The Gamecocks came into Stone Stadium today looking to add another win onto their undefeated season as Savannah McCaskill quickly starts the game off by charging the box and scoring in the left corner of the net. LSU's Summer Clark then responds in the 26th minute of the game with an equalizer. The second half started with Chelsea Drennan bringing the Gamecocks to a 2-1 lead. Savannah McCaskill was tripped inside the penalty box resulting in a Gamecock penalty kick, which was shot by Sophie Groff. Even Cocky celebrates after another Gamecock victory. Your Gamecocks kept the winning streak alive tonight with a 3-1 win over LSU. They were returned back to Stone Stadium Saturday at 2 o'clock to take on Kentucky. For Capital City Sports, I'm Melissa Butterson. Back to you, Jared. The men's saga team has been on a hot streak lately as it looked to carry momentum into Saturday's game against Georgia State. Here's Emma Milner with more. After winning their past three games, the Gamecocks hope to continue their streak Saturday night at Stone Stadium. The Gamecocks are undefeated against their opponent, the Georgia State Panthers, being 10-0 overall and 8-0 at home. With so much on the line, let's see how they did. Curtis Turner played a huge role in Saturday night's game. Almost 25 minutes in, Turner passed the ball to Cody Millard, who kicked it in 25 yards for the first Gamecock goal. Not even five minutes into the second half, Turner made another big assist to Luca Meyer, who completed a short yet effective goal from eight yards out. South Carolina continued to perform on offense with an exciting play by Ben Davidson, who rebounded Danny Deacon's attempted shot for the third Gamecock goal. South Carolina's goalkeeper, William Pyle, held the Panthers scoreless up until the last eight seconds of the game when Amari Abraham recovered a shot from teammate Andrew Thompson, giving the Panthers their only point of the night. The final score was 3-1, South Carolina with the win. The Gamecocks defeated the Panthers 3-1, keeping their streak alive and maintaining their perfect record against GSU. The Panthers' last-minute efforts were too little, too late, as the Gamecocks had already secured the win. They returned to Stone Stadium on Wednesday to take on High Point. For Capital City Sports, I'm Emma Milner. It's a two-for-one special on this episode, as the women's soccer team looks to continue its success against Kentucky. Here's Thomas Gore with more. A very heated matchup on a very hot Sunday afternoon in Columbia as the Gamecocks look to continue their historic season, coming in this Sunday ranked number eight in the country and undefeated, not having dropped a game yet. The Kentucky Wildcats look to change that. For more, let's go to the highlights. The Kentucky Wildcats come into today's matchup with a 4-5 and five record and an important game against the Gamecocks, who are undefeated this season and looking to continue that upward momentum throughout the season. The game got off to a rather odd start, as the Gamecocks did not score any goals in the first half, which if you've been paying attention to the Gamecock ladies this season, you would know that they usually like to get off to quick starts and pin their opponents against the wall before they can even do anything. But in this game, it was all about impeccable ball movement and defense, as you see Savannah McCaskill getting one of many Gamecock shots in here. Here we have Sophie Groff with her third goal of the season, making it 1-0. Later you have Savannah McCaskill to Kaylee Kurtz, for the second goal of the game. Later, Lindsey Lane would score to make it 3-0. Savannah McCaskill had another incredible outing for the Gamecocks, recording two assists on the afternoon, bringing her point total to 26 through 11 games this season. The Gamecocks look to continue their historic women's soccer run by facing the Texas A&M Aggies in College Station this Thursday, September 29th. For Capital City Sports, I'm Thomas Gore. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Capital City Sports. For more coverage, follow us on our Twitter, at CCS on SGTV. 
Until next time, I'm Jerry Glassman.